Do you really want to start van life, but just don't know where to start or feel like it's so far out of reach? Maybe you just need some practical ideas to get the ball rolling. Hi, my name is Katina with Gypsy Wander, and I live in a minivan with my dog, Henry. Home is wherever we roam. Today, I'm going to share with you why I chose a minivan to start my van life journey. When I decided I wanted to start van life, I knew that a larger camper van was out of reach financially for me, and I didn't want to go into debt over starting van life. After all, van life is about minimalism and hopefully allows you to save some money and reduce your expenses. And a minivan was a easy choice for me to consider because I like tiny spaces. And so affordability was really the biggest factor for me in deciding on a minivan for my camper van. Minivans are generally less expensive than traditional camper vans, both in initial cost and then ongoing repairs and maintenance. And so I did some research and quickly learned that the Toyota Sienna and Honda Odysseys were the top two picks when it came to minivans that are converted to camper vans. And so as I started looking for a van, I thought I was going to need to spend anywhere between twelve to 15000 But when I added in all the other expenses that go along with van life, I was not going to be able to start van life within the time frame that I wanted. And if you're already living van life, you know, once you make that decision that you want to live van life, you want to start right away. You don't want anything to stop you. After more research and talking to some mechanics, I learned that if I got a Toyota Sienna that had been well cared for and had the preventative maintenance done regularly, that I could anticipate a Toyota Sienna lasting me for minimally 300,000 miles. That was good news. And I was able to find people that that situation rang true for. What that meant was I could start looking for an older vehicle that had more miles on it, and that was going to reduce my initial cost. So what did I do? I sold my car for $8,000 and turned around and bought this 2006 Toyota Sienna with 197,000 miles on it for $6,000. I then went ahead and had the preventative maintenance done that is usually done at 200,000 miles and still had money left over. So that meant that I could start van life earlier. If you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment down below and tell me what is holding you back from starting van life. Space optimization was the second reason I chose a minivan. While minivans have less interior space than larger camper vans, they still offer plenty of opportunities for creative and affordable customization to create a comfortable living space. To customize my van, I chose to install a road loft removable conversion kit. Here's a picture of the kit when I installed it in my van. I had two requirements when it came to my van. I needed to have room for a toilet and needed to have a workspace. Aside from that, I was flexible. The table I use for my workspace is so awesome. I can even fit four people at the table in my van comfortably. Before I set out, my friends and I would sit in my van and have lunch together. I don't generally leave the table up unless I'm working or need a table for something, but the table is really what sold me on this conversion. I also have so much storage under the bench and under the bed. And then in the back, there are two pull-out drawers for your kitchen and even more storage. They make conversion kits for all different types of minivans and even SUVs and hatchbacks. There are several companies that make these. Ultimately, I chose Roadloft because of their quality. It's a conversion kit that's designed by travelers, people who actually use the product. They developed and researched their system and even had over 13 prototypes testing and seeing where they could make improvements, what was convenient, what was inconvenient, and what would make the best product. And a lot of reasons why I chose the Road Loft, but since it's non-permanent and there's nothing that is modified in my van, if something mechanically happens to my van, I don't lose the conversion. I can just put that in another van. That made a lot of sense to me because one of the things with traditional camper vans that I always 
wondered about or, or had in the back of my mind was if you spend a lot of money to convert a van, if it's not brand new when you get it, if anything mechanically happens, you're either forced to have those repairs done or otherwise you lose that whole investment that in time that you have put in to converting a van. And so at least for, you know, just to get started and to get out there and to start living the life that I created, choosing a minivan was a no-brainer. Another advantage of minivans is their fuel efficiency. With gas prices fluctuating constantly, having a vehicle with better gas mileage helps me save money and travel further on a single tank. Maneuverability and parking. The ease of driving and parking a minivan camper is another consideration for choosing a minivan. Just look how that Mercedes camper van towers over my minivan. Since I can park in a normal parking stall, it makes parking easier and also getting around in the cities is no more eventful than normal. Being stealth was the last reason I chose a minivan. They blend in better in residential and urban areas, and that allows me to park and sleep without drawing any attention to myself. And there you have it. Affordability, space optimization, fuel efficiency, maneuverability, stealthness. That's why I chose a minivan to start my van life journey. And I really hope that this video has helped you see that there is a way that the obstacles that may have been in front of you, primarily affordability, I think is probably one of the biggest hold, things that hold you back. Tell me in the comments, what, what holds you back from van life? My guess is affordability. That was my biggest thing. I knew I could live in a minivan. Once I had that idea, I knew I could live in a minivan. I wasn't worried about the space. And the only thing that held me back at that time was the cost. And once I realized that I could buy an older van, shoot, I can run this until the wheels fall off and then buy another van and move my my conversion kit. Or maybe by that time, I'll decide I want to upgrade to something different. But to get started, to get out there, to start living your dreams, to create your own happiness, to find joy in your journey, that's what van life is all about. And so I really hope this video has helped unblock some of those roadblocks that you saw. And I hope that it it helps you realize that van life is within reach for you and that a minivan can help you embrace van life while balancing cost and convenience and sustainability. So tell me below if you found value in this video. And if you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That way you can get more minivan life content. So until next time, stay wild and stay free.